Well, hi everyone. I hope you're doing super well. You know, when it comes to picking out a holiday gift for your plant-loving friend or family member, I truly believe that a plant is the worst idea that you can get them unless they, of course, ask for a certain plant. So instead, I have come up with a list of 10 items that'll be perfect this holiday season. So in case you're wondering why I think a plant is an awful gift for a plant lover or even just a friend in general is because one, you don't really know what kind of plant they want, two, are they going to really care for it, and three, what if it's a Calathea? That would just be awful. So instead, we're going to take a look at some really cool items that'll help spruce up your ideas for holiday gifts. The first item that we're going to talk about is moss poles. And yeah, I do carry moss poles in the back of my pocket at all time. Uh, moss poles are great, though, especially for your plant-loving friends who are collectors and have a lot of climbing plants. In fact, uh, most philodendron, a good chunk of them, are climbers. So moss poles are a great gift to get. I just got a four-pack set off of Amazon. And if you go onto Amazon and type in moss poles plants, you will find endless amounts of options. And they range anywhere from like $10 to around 20 bucks, sometimes more depending on the size. But a four pack like this only cost me, I believe it was $12. And more often than not, you will find coupons associated with the moss poles that you're looking for. Uh, the nice thing about these two is that they're stackable. Uh, you can just connect them one to one, especially as the plant continues to climb. Uh, in my apartment, I have a lot of plants that are on moss poles decked out. Whether or not they're cocoa choir moss poles or green moss, I absolutely adore them because what happens is those climbing plants, well, they just keep on climbing up them and they get larger and larger leaves. And isn't that what we want? Just so beautiful. All right, so next up is going to be humidifiers. There are so many options for humidifiers out there on the market. Same thing you go on Amazon, you'll find plenty. Some are super cheap, some are super expensive. My word of warning to you is to go with a well-known name brand. I prefer Lavoy, and mind you, this is not a sponsored video. It's just the experience that I've had with Lavoy humidifiers. What is really nice about them is that they're long lasting, unlike some of the cheaper brands. I've purchased some before that were like 30 bucks and they died off within two to three months. But with Lavoy, uh, I haven't run into really any issues at all. In fact, what's nice about them and the other brands that are well known and reputable is that they have apps associated with the humidifier so you can control it from your phone. And I absolutely love having that option on my phone, especially if I'm away from home and I know that it's gonna be a little bit drier so I can just crank up the humidity uh, manually or set it to automatic at a percentage that I want the humidity to be at. By the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button on this video so you can see more planty content just like this. All right, on to our third item, which is going to be decorative planters or pots. Uh, these are great because one, everybody needs a pot for their plant, especially as they continue to grow larger. But getting really nice decorative ones really helps stand out. A lot of times people will use terracotta, which is really great for plants because it helps dry that soil out and not keep it all mushy and wet. But I'll tell you, getting decorative pots is an excellent, excellent gift. And there are so many places from your local plant stores to Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, Etsy. Oh, so many great ones on Etsy. Now, what I love doing is recently I've gotten to the habit over the last couple of months of potting up my plants in plastic uh, pots. And I do that for two reasons. One, because it allows me to check on the plant's root growth at all times. I can see how healthy the plant is based off of its roots and whether or not it needs a repotting if I see that its roots are crawling out of the bottom. But what's really nice about these is that I can buy different decorative pots and I can just put it inside there and have it like that. And what's nice is that if I get bored with this pot, I can simply just, you know, take it and put it in a new one and then put it on display and that gives you a lot of versatility when it comes to designing 
your urban jungle because you can just switch things up and have it look different. So that's a really neat option. Another great option are grow lights. Grow lights are always needed by houseplant collectors, especially those of the tropical aeroid and other kinds of uh, genus and families of plants. Grow lights are amazing, and I have several. I love the aesthetic look ones, like Soltech Solutions. Again, not sponsored, but my experience with Soltech Solutions has been incredible. In fact, my plants, for the most part, actually prefer the Soltech Solution lights sometimes over the actual sunlight. I have seen them grow so much, and I have a couple of them in my urban jungle here in Denver. In fact, there's two of them right there, uh, that one and that one. Now, I will say these are a little bit pricier. We're talking about $85 per bulb, but you can find cheaper options out there too that are equally as good. In fact, right now on my website, plantswithkevin.com, if you were to click on this article, you'll find a list of a couple other ones that I highly suggest ranging in price from about uh, $8 to $30, depending on how much you're looking to spend. But grow lights are always needed. Another recommendation for your plant-loving friend who might not want to plant is a plant-type art print. There are so many options available, especially if the person that you're purchasing the gift for has a specific plant that they absolutely adore. I guarantee you, you will find an art print that portrays and reflects that specific plant. In fact, I highly suggest looking on Etsy because you'll find so many different options there. Uh, I only have one plant print and it's here in my bathroom. Uh, and I got it, gosh, a couple years back. Not that I really care for whatever plant this is. Uh, it was just on sale at Target, so I went for it. But, you know, I highly suggest checking out Etsy because uh, our prints of plants will make for a really great gift. Next up, macrame plant hangers. These are super duper cheap. I'm telling you, like, really, really cheap. I got a pack, I think, of like six on Amazon for maybe $12.00. And they have so many options but it's not just them locally at your plant shops in your area you'll find them for sale i believe home depot lowe's also sell them uh, what i love about them is that they come in different styles uh different looks some are white some are uh you know more of the twine type color a little tan there i like this one because it holds two different plants uh, and this is right next to my work from home office right outside of my living room but again, uh, you will find a ton of different options online or at your local plant shops. And I'll tell you, if you are a plant lover and you got that as a gift, it's something you would really appreciate. Next up is also plant books. You cannot go wrong with plant books. I think a majority of the books that I own are all botanical, plant-based books from Plantopedia, to leaf supply to wild at home there are so many different options out there not only are they great because one they help educate the person your plant lover who uh, wants to know more about certain plants like plantopedia here this is a great book because it basically breaks down so many different popular uh, uh, tropical plants and plants in general from begonias to philodendron. Uh, there's just so many different options in there with like syndapsis, etc. But the next thing about them is that they also look really nice, especially if you're looking to decorate your home, have a couple of these books next to your plants and it just makes them pop and it just adds a level of sophistication there. That's really, really neat. And depending on the book, um, you can get some for cheap. Some are a little bit more expensive. I think this one was like 40 bucks. Uh, but you can find them on sale, of course. I'm looking forward to um, uh, Jane Perrone's new book uh, that I am looking to order within the next couple of weeks. So that'll be a good one. And really, really excited about that. Oh, another thing too is sphagnum moss. If you are a true plant collector, you cannot go wrong with having extra sphagnum moss. It enhances the plant's routine with high quality. Uh, that sphagnum moss is so versatile and moisture retaining and that it really helps, especially if you have plants like 
let's say, anthurium or a philodendron varicosum. I like to add in a little bit of sphagnum moss. And you can find that cheap too at your local plant stores or online. Usually ranges in price from like 10 to 20 bucks max. So, so many options out there for you to choose from. Finally, our last two items are plant care subscription boxes. These are really neat and you can find them with a lot of online retailers. Basically, they're boxes that arrive at your home and they feature things like pond, plant fertilizer, moisture meters, all different sorts of surprises, kind of like a little gift box full of little planty items that'll help your urban jungle grow. And finally, I'm talking about gift cards. Gift cards are great, and there are so many available from different plant sellers, from Equigenera USA to Steve's Leaves to Costa Farms, you name it. There are so many. The Sill, for instance, I have a list of them right now on my website at plantswithkevin.com, and these range in price from like 10 to a couple hundred bucks, depending on how much you want to spend. There are options for everyone. But I'm curious to know, what do you get your plant-loving friends or family members? Tell me about it in the comments below because I'm curious. I'd like to know if there's some other gifts out there I should be looking at. But hey, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and the subscribe button and hit that notification bell just so you can see, you know, more interesting planty content just like this. And again, if you haven't visited my new website, plantswithkevin.com, please give it a visit, sign up for my newsletter, which I send out regularly with really interesting planty content and video that you won't see here on YouTube. And there are so many helpful articles when it comes to plant care and DIY, do-it-yourself design for your own urban jungle if you are looking to bring a little tropical oasis to your home. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.